It's a, a Florian knife called the Leo blade. Have you heard of it? No. But I know someone who might have. And it's not often I'm called upon to forge a master magician murder weapon, but you are from a place that likes murder. Earth. Am I right? Yes, we're from Earth. Good. Then you know what I want. We do. And we agree. So he thinks we're... Kings and queen. He wants a seat at court. But years. It'll take him years. How? Apprentice to my father. Is he around? He's out back. Six feet under grass. Leo Blade, as promised. Payment is due. Blade draws one thing and one thing only. The pure royal blood of the High King of Fillory. Hell yeah. Fanny. I see me. Will you marry me? I'm your wife. I want to be obedient. <laughs> Nobody wants to be obedient. The people are starving. Seriously? Sprinkling shit? Your farmers don't fertilize? It's working. Oh, great. Mm, thank you. Elliot, I don't know how to politely ask you to fuck me. Pregnant. Jesus. We're going to be parents. Russell, you come here with no warning and try to kill my husband. I'm not a Foo Fighter anymore. Say ask. I men, help us. Or I go to your king and tell him exactly how well I know his wife. If the Foo Fighters make another move, I'll kill you myself. I've been trying to tell you it's been a little insane today. I'm not trying to keep secrets from you. That's my point. Elliot, please understand. I had a life before you came. I had no idea if you even would come. Fillory is my home, and I care about you. I have no idea who you are. I'm your wife. Because your father made you. I could have walked out of here a long time ago. I believe in you. You think I stayed because you're just so deeply attracted to me? I'm a realist who wants you to succeed. I want us to. It's gonna be okay. I'm pregnant. We're about to go into war. We need the king. I need my husband. We're alive. My grandpa was the royal family's favorite swordsman. With this spell and this blade, he will be a master swordsman. I truly feel marginally less fucked now. All my life, I've put my family first. Now that's you. It's going to lose if he hasn't already. That if magic is returned, Elliot lives, and there's no war, then you will do exactly what I tell you. Of course. Whatever it is. Yes, please, don't let him die. All in one piece, thanks to that sword spell of yours. Made an agreement. We're getting married. Wait, what? is about to welcome another husband into his bed. You are king? Of course you will. I gather a three-person marriage isn't normal on Earth. Not outside of Utah. Not going mad. Well... No. I to deal with some fairies and they're voting for me. A deal is a deal. Do you know where you are? My baby. They took her away. You have to come with us, okay? Get the... Okay. Yes. How did you get here? I wanted to stay. To be close to our daughter. But I had to warn you. They're coming. They're here. <laughs> About... And I'm forever grateful, but I do not think this is a good idea. It's perhaps a concept you're a little too distracted to get. Frail human. Frey for short. Say hello, Frey. I'd like you to meet your daughter. What? No. In the fairy realm, time folds in on itself and accelerates. <laughs> She has your eyes. 
Good in that she has two facing forward. Yes, yeah, she's got my love. She's ours. I feel it. And as the daughter of a blade maker, I'm telling you, a blade killed the villager. Talk back to your father and me. Hey, Go to your room. Fucked up enough to be. <laughs> uh, stand here. Frank, get behind me. I won't let them harm you. And neither will your father. <sighs> Please. Oh, God. No, 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 no. This... Don't eat that. No, don't eat that. Please. You're eating a dude. Mm. <gasps> They're cannibals. I told you. I used the key to make a shadow bat monster illusion like that priest did on that island. We scared away the bad men. We get to a book shoot, we find a door, we get the hell out. Okay. Father? Hi, Grandpa. What is with everyone and their daddy issues today? Trust me, you fed your your dad to cannibals? An illusion of him, but yes. So you sent Fen and Frey into the city? They're gonna get eaten alive. She is a knife maker's daughter. She can handle herself. Besides, I sent them with Todd, so it's not like I'm completely irresponsible. And it was a wonderful adventure. We went to the Square of Time, where no one sleeps, and it's always light. And we saw bards performing on your famous Broadway. You call it cats, but it's just humans and cat grease paint. And we tried a delicacy called pizza at an eatery that was family style. What? Humans are complicated. Sometimes good people can make bad decisions. You know what you think? I know who you truly are. My daughter, and Elliot's, and you just need to trust he did this for a very good reason. Family is about loyalty, my love. Don't hurt my children. I won't hurt yours. Don't touch her. I'm not your daughter. I'm just a human who... What are you saying? Your real daughter died during childbirth. She died? Oh, God. I... When our daughter was born, they took her away. They wouldn't let me hold her. I never heard her cry. I should have known. How could I not know? God, I was so ready to believe Frey. I think deep down I thought, if we just felt like a family, if I just willed it hard enough, then that would be real. This. How am I supposed to live with it? Oh, God. God, I found them so sorry. I can't be in Fillory right now. Okay. Okay. Doris, my daughter's gone. Forever. You forgot some stuff? What you lost is still out there. Go get it back. Amber's ass, I am drunk. A fairy? And I can't see her because I've never made a fairy deal? But this is what they do. Okay. They hide behind powerful people. Manipulate them into doing terrible things. Slavery and fillery? If these fairies are slaves, you'd be better off. Then? No one is better off with slavery. Of course, um, I'm sorry. Oh, shit, you are her slave. Then, what is it? What do you see? It's her. It's a guy. She's... Oh, God, they cut off her leg. What happened to you? Who did this? Done to the fairies is awful, but they are evil, and I told you what they did to me, my daughter. And Julia, they can't be enslaved. They can do magic. They are magic. They don't have to access it. They just get right to the ruining your life part. Okay, so Sky's telling the others what happened to her and that we want to help them escape, but that can't happen until we get their necklaces off. <laughs> oh, there's an emoji of a dagger. Todd is right. This truly is the universal language. Then. 
Look, I know what the fairies did to you in Villery was fucked up. And I'm sorry about that, but... That's my response. Gif of a crab with a knife? That's how I feel. And is it gif or jif? If Sky can't convince them to run, what are we gonna do? We introduce them to someone scarier. You're not listening. I'd rather remove your tongue. Maybe your teeth. You choose. Go ahead. You have already taken so much from me. What's a few teeth? You've got two sentences. Choose wisely. I hate fairies. So why would I come here to a place where you stole my toes and I lost my child if it wasn't true? As a mother, despite what you did to me, they deserve a chance to live. So get off your whatever it is fairies have for rare butts and do something. They need their queen. It's gone a lot longer than I thought it would be. Listen, Fen, before you were born, you were promised to a stranger, a king. And I'm not one anymore. You don't have to stay for my sake. I'm guessing you've never thought about where I would be if you never showed up. I have. Still in that same village where I was born, married to one of the three obnoxious boys I live next to. Now those boys want to drop you off a waterfall and that's them being polite. What do you think they would do if they got their hands on me? That got less touching as you went. I can't go back to my old life. I'm stuck with you. And that means you're stuck with me. But what we want to offer the queen would mean real peace for humans and fairies. Maybe the distance between us can finally start to close. And maybe then you won't feel so alone. So the human vote basically means nothing in Fillory. Citizenship for every fairy, full protection of the law, and a seat in the government. Can I maybe get some fairy toes? Hello? Us acting hiking. Oh. You have my permission to implement the new schedule. Excellent, your acting majesty. In the tax collector's latest expense reports, I would like to double check them. Sorry. Of course, right away. You need to stop apologizing. You do well to remember the power comes from High King Margot, but it flows through you. Is there something you need? Yes, six fairies have disappeared in two days. Oh shit, it's a human. <sighs> it's also the current ruler of Fillory. Hello, we've met, so we can get right to the part where I tell you to stop stealing fairies to chop up. They are full citizens of Fillory. You will cease at once. Full citizen? Well, la dee da <laughs> I knew exactly how to deal with this. There must be another way. The deal I struck with Irene will finally make it possible for my people to be safe and free. Tears for your enemies.